Hi everybody, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. This week's review is on the Robus tripod. B&H Photo sent me this tripod to try out and to use, and it works really well. So this is a sponsored video in the fact that I don't have to return the tripod, but I wouldn't recommend it if it didn't work. I've been looking for tripods to recommend to people for a long time. The one that I really liked, the 1326 from Geetso, they stopped production of that years ago. This Robus tripod seems like it's going to be the same kind of tripod that I will have it for a long time. So here's some of the things I like about it and some of the features and we'll just go through them. So it is a carbon fiber tripod. You can get it in three different sizes from 58 inches, that one that goes all the way up to 80 inches. The one that I got goes up to 70 inches. I did that because I'm about 5'10 and I like the camera to be at eye level. It weighs about five and a half pounds, so it's got four sections uh, to the legs. I don't like that. I prefer three just so that the bottom legs are a bigger diameter, but it works okay for this tripod and for the price range, I'm willing to sacrifice something. There are lots of little features on this tripod that I really like. There's a little swivel clip here for you can use for stuff. This bowl plate comes out and you can put in a video head if you want to. It's got the 3 8 inch screw up here and then it has a bubble level and I really like that. And then it has three different leg positions and I'll show you what that means in a little bit here. I'll show you how low it can go to the ground. Here's that bowl replacement. This part comes out. You can loosen it and tighten it here so you can put a video head on here. The load capacity is 55 pounds and what I try to do is I add up the weight of my lens and my camera and then I double that and then that's the kind of uh, weight I try to get for my tripod. So this can handle a big lens and a big camera and it can handle like 26 pounds worth of equipment which is a lot. There's three positions here and this is the full position so it's got a pretty wide base. You can use the middle position here at 55 degrees and it's great for kneeling or sitting behind and then there's this great uh, ground position. There's this little screw right here and if you take this out then you can get this tripod within four inches of the ground and so if you want to shoot eye level with a lot of birds that really helps. The minimum working height, four inches from the ground. For me and doing shorebird photography, that really, really helps. It has a quarter turn twist and lock system, which is far better than the old Gizzo that I used to have because this is just easier to use and the grips are nice and, and beefy. It comes with three different options for rubber feet. And so this is the uh, rubber one. I don't use the spiked one and I don't use the wide feet because I don't shoot indoors that much, but this one works out really well. And it's got this nice hook, which I took off when I put the tripod all the way on the ground. But if you're a landscape photographer, if you want some more weight on the tripod to make it more stable, you can use that hook. It has these nice rubber pads on two of the legs so your hands don't get cold while you're holding it. It just makes it easier to use the tripod. So lots of little details like that on this tripod make it well thought out. Here's a picture of the tripod on location in San Diego, and I've got the Olympus uh, M1X and the 300 millimeter lens on there and a gimbal head. And then here's a shot that I got that day using the tripod. Hey, if you want to learn more about bird photography, consider picking up a copy of my book, Learn the Art of Bird Photography. It's available on Amazon as a trade paperback and as a Kindle. And Hit that subscribe button if you want to continue to see all the videos that I do. I've been doing a tutorial and a review each week lately. I'm going to try to continue that as long as I can. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this week. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.